All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this uh, this uh, documentary that I'm going to film here. And um, I'm sitting here with Master Conguero uh, Luis Miranda, and uh, he was born in New York City uh, back in 1923 with the parents of Cuban uh, descent and Puerto Rican heritage. So. We're here in Fullerton at his house, and uh, where he's living here now. And I just wanted to uh, share with you, and he wants to share with you too, his journey and some of the outstanding contributions that he gave to the to the Latin world as in music. So, um, okay, Luis Miranda, say hi to the people. Hi, hi, dude. All right, how are you doing today? Uh, okay, you yes, feeling good. Ready, ready for you. All right, <laughs> ready for the world one more time, right? <laughs> ready, ready for the world. Right? Yes. Well, I, I, I'm reading here a little bit of your your, um, your little documentary here. And it's, it's, pretty, amazing. it's amazing, pretty impressive. All these musicians that unbelievable that you work with in your in your past and your journey. It's amazing. Such you know, awesome. let me tell you something. It's a lot of things I forgot. Yeah, well, I can imagine. <laughs> too many. I mean, I know you just finished recording a, a couple of a songs uh, at a studio. At uh, it was actually at my house, <laughs> and uh, but it was with uh, the great bass player Rene Camacho, Joy Ratandi, and uh, and I forgot the sax player's name, but. <laughs> Oh, I forgot it. Yeah, well, but uh, <laughs> but and you know, I, I played drums on it, and 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 it was really a really nice, uh, you know, a recording because, you know, but by the end of the day, I mean, when we I sat down with you, and I started talking to you, and I says, Luis, it's kind of curious when you started mentioning all these fantastic musicians that you work with, you know, Cachao, I mean, you name it, uh, Charlie Parker, Machito. I mean, those are legendary people that that left a big stamp in the in the, in the Latin world. And uh, so when I asked you a question, I said, well, Luis, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? And you told me. I'm 95. 95 years <laughs> old. Oh, you still, yeah, man, it's unbelievable. I said, Luis, we got to put this down on, on, you know, on some kind of recording. So let me go back. I'm going to start asking you some questions, okay? Yeah. How did you first start playing well, uh, congas? What made you or what not made you, what influenced to pick up a conga? Well, on New York, in the, in the 40. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was not a, mus a musician, and even had the idea to be a musician. Uh -huh. But I was there, and I used to have a good time, and I, and go to the Palladium, and, I, and dance. I was pretty good dance. You were a pretty good dancer. Not, not professional. Yeah. Yes, and a lot of them, I mean, a lot of ladies over there, Jews, and that time, that's what Palladium, they call it, they, the United Nations, wow. because it was before that, all the bands from New York, they, they have Latin bands on Puerto Rican, on Black, on Cuba, they could not work downtown. Mm, okay, so it's like segregated. They, they, they weren't allowed yeah. to play down, downtown. And now the only play was, it was that, the bear gun. The bear guns, okay. I think that was a play lot of the jazz. So what year was this, more or less, uh, Louis? Uh, at least I was, maybe it was about a 48. 1948. And so you were, you were, you were just a music lover. You loved music. You weren't really playing yeah. congas, but you loved to dance, right? That's what but, you did. You loved yeah. dancing. But you know why? And, and when I was dancing in the Palladium, I saw Tira Puente, mm -hmm. and then Tira Puente saw me dancing. He said, Luis, you play, you musician, you know, huh? I like to dance. Man, but the feeling you have for dance, you'll be able to be a good conga player. 
enano en el vino con la play. Y digo, bueno, voy a poner mi play trompe, o sea, la conga. Y dice, listen to me, no te lo cuento. Yo me digo, bueno, I say, I give you a job if you lay on a play conga. Do you know what I did? And I went to this play and uh, in the party howling, and there was a bakery. And this gentleman over there, he got a bakery in the back. He got conga, he liked conga, and he's fixing conga. I went over there and I told him, listen, I need a conga, one conga, fast. Mm -hmm. He said, Luis, uh, I got this conga already set up. I said, take it. I have your years, we'll talk about it later. I went there with Tito Puente and I started playing. But before I went, oh, you know, I got the conga. And I said, oh, well, I, I know how the beat go. I got to buy me a metronome. Mm -hmm. I buy a metronome and put it in me. Ta, 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 ta. And they go, one, two, and three, boom, boom. One, two, three, boom, boom. One, mm -hmm. two, three, and four. Yeah. Yeah. And I started playing that. Ta, ta, king, king. And then, oh, I play, play a little faster. <laughs> bam, 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 king, king, bam, bam, a little bam, bam. Kinky, and then I feel more fat. Oh, no. I mean, I come back. I mean, I come back. And I did it for my solo. And that's for my beginning in Conga. Wow. So, so, you're, so what you're saying, Tito Puente kind of, uh, he kind of pushed you and influenced you to, 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 him, to play Congas because he saw you dancing. Yeah. You said you had the rhythm and that uh, you would be a good Conguero. Yeah. That's Tito Puente. Wow, and I, and, I, and I see too, and I'm reading on, it says, uh, you know, you're constantly surrounded by great musicians because your father, uh, my father, your father was a band leader too, right? Was he a band leader? No, or, no, 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 my just, father, no, Machito. Oh, so your father was a, a, a good friend, a dear friend of Machito, right? Yeah, because Machito, wow. and uh, my so on. My hero saw me play with Tito Puente, mm -hmm. with the Piccadilly boy. That's it. The, the wow. band Tito Puente had a small group Pica, in the, oh, the Piccadilly. And my hero saw me. That way, after I learned how to play the beat with a, with a metronome, uh -huh. uh, my hero saw my dad. I told him, listen, tell you to your son to meet me at the Palladio to test uh, in the afternoon. And I went there. I was Machiro, and do um, you know what I did? He took me down Broadway, all the way down to the Paramount, Paramount Tira. The Paramount, yeah. And uh, to me, Stan Kenton. Wow. Because Stan Kenton had a band, and they had a bongo play. The bongo play was Jaco Stanzo. Mm -hmm. And um, he when he had a conga play. And I went there. And um, my children took me to. This is Stan Ken, the, fat, the phenomenal oh, iconic uh, sax yeah. player, right? Uh, Stan oh, Ken. No, no, he, he was great. Yeah, he's he's the one that uh, you know, yeah. you know amongst everything. Yeah, but yeah, take yeah, five. Do you know how many how many good machines he got? They got Safranki mm -hmm. playing bass, Rosalino playing trombone. Fra Frank Rosalino. Frank Rosalino, wow. Playing the trombone. And, um, well, Frank Chet, Rosalino also did the Johnny Carson show, right? And I played, that's a, another thing, I had, the, I had the Johnny Carson show, I played it. Wow, yeah, because this was back in, it must have been the, in the 70s. Yes, yeah. yeah. I played with John Johnny Carson. But you know what, when I played with Johnny Carson, remember that lady called, uh, uh, the lady, who she go like that, Cuchi, cuchi, cuchi. Oh, uh, Ch Chiquira. No, not Chiquira. No. Uh, Charo. Char Charo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mother of Chiquira. No. <laughs> yeah. Charo, yeah, yes, Charo. yeah. And uh, Charo um, and Jaco Tansi and me, uh -huh. we went to play with... Uh, and, well, you and, remember the Hoochie Coochie, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, you no, can't remember I, her name, but you remember Hoochie no. Coochie. Yeah, yeah because I, I remember Charo. It was yeah, something different. Yeah, she was very unique. Yeah. <laughs> and she always moved to Hoochie Coochie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then we started playing there. And that was Rosalino playing there too. Yeah, Frank, Rosalino, yeah. trombone. Fantastic trombone yeah. player. You and know. I was the two brothers. Hmm. There was, I forgot the name. There was two, no, there mm. was two brothers. They were playing trumpet. And I was there. And, uh, With the Johnny Carson or Johnny Carson, yeah. yeah. Even we did that. And, um, mm -hmm. But let me tell you about the Stan Kenton. The Stan Kenton, okay. And my children were there, everything was him to me to go to play with Stan Kenton. But let me tell you, but that I did had the musician car. I don't belong to the 80, Oh, 82. you didn't have a union card, a musician 82, card. 82, 802. Wow. And, and that was a union yeah. card in New York. Yeah, you need that because they were another car. You had they call it the cabaret car. Uh -huh. That cabaret they did it because I said a lot of musicians is in drugs. If they don't have the cabaret, that uh, means it is in drugs. And that they don't, you cannot play. You're not allowed to play if you don't have it on the car. Yeah. But let me tell you, tell you later, mm -hmm. when I got that, I went to the union. And I went upstairs, and the guy said, I told him, I said, I'd like to get my, 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 my musician car. I want to belong to the union. And I said, okay, what instrument do you play? And I play, yeah, I play conga drum. He said, oh, 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 no. We don't give a examination on the conga drum. He said, what do you mean? He said, no, no. He said, okay, I went, it was coming down. And I found a friend of mine, Humberto Morales. That was Noro Morales' friend. Wow. And there was a friend of mine, but Noro Morales played in, uh, in, the, in the China door. No, no, Morales was playing. And this is all in New York, right? In New York, New yeah. New York, back in and, the 40s. And Humberto was playing the drum when he brought the Noro. And when Humberto, I used to go see him Noro. Yeah, we got good friends. And Humberto saw me get out from the union. And I said, Luis, what happened? And Luis, now he called me Luisito. Luisito, what happened? They go, no, I went upstairs to get, try to get my message car because I got a, when I mean, I had a job with a stanketo. And a stanketo go, a stanketo going to Texas. And I, I'm sure that I got, I had to be a straight the other way. I'm not going to be able to play. It's going to be a mess. Mm -hmm. said, go, let's go upstairs. We went upstairs. So I, and when I got upstairs, went to the guy, listen, why do you don't want to examine it and playing the conga drum? Because that's a drum. Oh, why well, you going to ask him to play, uh, call him Mama Dead and the Cat and uh, Conga Drum? And they said, no, because we don't give him no examination in the Conga Drum. He invited me to listen. Conga, uh, conga that's uh, the drums of the Latin band. It's not uh, the track, uh, you know, oh. drum. And that's, that's a Conga. That's, that's a man in the instrument. The play. And then, and I met him and I said, How come you gonna ask me to play drum? You had to play the conga drum. And then the guy said, Oh, and the Humberto said, We play and tap at that table. And I went, One and two and three and boom boom and two and three and boom boom. And Humberto said, That's it, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the guy said, Oh, can't be the ball. I got my car, my machine I got. I went to the machine room. And my, uh, the, the guy who played conga drum on machine room, he took my job. He mm -hmm. went with San Kento. Because San Kento was leaving town. And uh, Machino said, okay, really, you come with us. And that's when we started playing Machino. And that's when they started the Latin jazz. Wow. That's, that's like in the 50s, you know, right? Yeah, and everybody plays typical Cuban music, yeah. and that's all. Well, I, I, see, I see, too, that I'm reading, too, it says, uh, what, like, uh, also Machito and Charlie Parker. <laughs> and, and, uh, 
So with Charlie Parker, would, did he play also with Machito? <laughs> no, no, he, he did, did a show with us. Oh, he did a show together. Oh, uh, yeah, and, oh, he recorded with us. Uh, Bill Long played mm -hmm. uh, in the corner. Uh, after Cuban something, there was a Chico, Chico of, of Fowey did the arranger. Mm -hmm. And I tried to play there. And there was Charlie Parker, and I was thick, thick feeling to be playing baritone. Uh -huh. And I, you know, that are those guys. Wow. And that's when the Latin jazz is begin. <clears throat> so this is like the beginning of, of this whole movement, Latin jazz, mm -hmm. before it was even called Latin jazz, right? It was they call it a, And you were telling me too, like they, in the congas, that, that, there wasn't where well, you can tune it up with the ranch. Yeah. You have to tune it up with with a, a heat. Yeah, but you know what happened? Patato came down, uh, Conga played Patato. Patato was another Afro-Cuban uh, percussionist, yeah. he right? he came to New York to play in the, in the Tropicana and the Bronx. Mm -hmm. And he brought three Conga, tuned it was beautiful. Uh, and the sound was great. I said, wow, Patato, what do you got? He said, Luis, but you go to Cuba. I'm going to take you to this guy called Belcara. This guy, the guy who did, the first guy who did Tuna Bococa in Cuba. He was living in, the, in Cuba, in Havana, in, the, in Lauto. And then, when I was in Machiro, we played, we went to Caracas, in Venezuela, and we did it for the carnival. And then, and the way back, Machiro, Mario Pausa, Graciela, Rene Nande, the, the keyboard, mm -hmm. and myself, we took a plane to go to Cuba, and you allowed to stay there for one week, and you don't have to pay any more anything. And the plane there, one day later, you get the plane, you go to New York. And you don't play anything extra. If you stay more than the, the one week, you gotta pay the, the ticket for New York, for Cuba to New York. So, were you saying you have to you had to stay over a week, or, or and you didn't pay your ticket, or you had, or, or is it that you stayed more than a week and you had to pay? What? what um, yeah, if you stay more than a week, mm -hmm. you gotta play. You gotta buy another plane oh, ticket, wow. and you gotta pay. Yeah, I see. So they're, they're Cuba, Cuba didn't want you there too long, right? They just... No, no, no. And those times, it was not... A, it was it's not Castro. It was... It was no, a, no. It was nothing like that. You can go anywhere can go. Oh, so it was... No. More, no. It was like... That was before Castro. Yeah, Castro before oh, Castro, yeah. Not before that. Uh -huh. And later, we did that. And I, I went to... Uh, Patato took me. We had no drums. And uh, the guy made me... Two drums, two cover drums. You know how much it charged me? A piece? Thirty dollars. Wow. Thirty dollars. In, Cu in Cuba. In Cuba, yeah. To build the drums at thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. And piece. those were tunable drums. They're tunable. Wow. And that was the first tunable conga. Was but that's in, probably where Al P got the idea, right? From going. No, Al P got the idea, but they saw me playing, and the bell was. Uh, see, uh, I was playing the very long uh, Oh, Cal Jader. Oh, Cal Jader. I was playing with Cal. And we'll, get to, we'll get to Cal Jader in a minute because okay. I know but, we, we got some more, more questions for Cal Jader about yeah, Cal Jader's journey. Yeah, but that's why Martin Cohen, Martin Cohen saw, saw, you. saw me play. And he liked a tune that, of the way I play. They call it Cubano Chant. And I did that, I did the back the boot. Because I like to, you know, the way I have to play. Yeah. I don't like to play a set beat all the time. They go, king, boom, boom, ba, 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 boom, ba, do, do. I answer, the bass do something nice. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's and melodic, answer, it was a melodic. melodic. So another another Cuban percussionist too that was a melodic too was, was uh, uh, pa, no, Paquita. Uh, no, Candido. No, no. Candido. Candido, yeah, him too, right? Candido, yeah. yeah. Candido, when I, 
When I saw Sandy the Cook, came to New York for the first time, I went to see, and he was playing a show in the Havana, Madrid, around the Broadway. But Candido and also Patato, too. He played melodic. He played three, yeah, three Patato, four, sometimes five yeah, congas, right? Yeah. But um, after Patato came to New York, he changed. And he didn't sound that good to me. But when he came for that, the Conjunto Casino, Man, they go, and later, bam, bam, and get out and dance. Oh, he was, he was great. You sure now, now you're talking about Patato? Mm-hmm. Okay. He was great. Yeah, he was, but later, he changed. Yeah, he changed. Yeah, he was great. Yeah, he was. But later, he changed, I guess, he mm-hmm. was saying, you know, I don't want to tell you, you know, he was, you know, that was something. And then, like that, he started play with the, with the man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Went, no. Yeah, yeah, you start losing it, you know. Yeah. Uh, but also, tell me, okay, so I see here in 1954, you moved to San Francisco, mm-hmm. right? To replace uh, Mongo Santa Maria in the Cal Jader Quintet. No, 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 no. I was the first one to go to play the Cal Jader. The, oh. After I left, and that little guy came, Luis Kant. And later after Luis Kant, that's when uh, Mongo and Willie. Willie Bow. Uh, Willie Bow. But, uh, but let me tell you something history about Mongo and Willie Bow. When I play New York, and I was like, oh, so we went to California with a Machiro band, and we play in the Santa Bow Room. I stay in downtown Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. And then um, later, we played, we went to San Francisco, and we played a back city, a jazz play. And the car Jada can see me and ask me, no, he told them, one of the musicians, it was a friend, and they said, oh, Luis, Carl, want you to, he said, you can come and to play with us. He said, what do you mean? The, yeah, he played in the Congress room. I said, listen, I played New York with the bass. Singer Jeff, 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 and Berla, and this, and, and you think, uh, to come over here because I had to move over here. I never planned to move over here. You're talking about to San Francisco. They asked you to come over. Yeah. But you... I said, no, no, I can't. But later, when I went back to New York, I had a, my first my first wife, and then we had I had a kid, and I you had a lot of kids with your first wife. Yeah, I don't want <laughs> My first wife, and then, but that's okay. You can say that <laughs> you're ninety five. <laughs> and later, when I I came back to New York, I said, "Go." Oh, no. And, uh, oh, Mongo and Willie was playing with Tiro Puente in that time. They were, he was going to San Francisco. And I told Mongo and Willie, listen, if you see Carl, tell him to call me. This is my phone. And um, in that time, I was playing steady, you know. But I can either deal with my ex, I better get out if you had a chance. And uh, we play in the, in the, when I was playing Machiro, we play all year round. We, and when we play in the summertime, we go into the mountain, play in this place called the Canco Hotel. There the Jewish, uh, you know, country club. Yeah, yeah. You play there and, the, and uh, when we learned, Oh, I tell we play we play the host summer and the level day we back to New York uh, to the Palladium. Mm-hmm. And that's and that's when them I told we and they come and Kajeda called me and uh, I told Machiro, Machiro, I am gonna go to leave I'm gonna go to California. And I told the situation, it's a hundred dollars. And I left Oh, Carl called me, sent me the plane ticket, 
Oh, no, I, when the car called me, I said, okay, car, what do you got for me? He said, oh, then Luis, and we play year round, only one day off. And we, I can give you in town $200. In that time, $200. When I was in Palermo, I was making $64. For the, for the whole weekend. $12 a night. <laughs> $12 a night. That's in that the, time. That's what the money No, there was, there was no money here. Yeah. And this is in New York, oh, back in the late... 1953. So the average, average musician was making anywhere from $10 or $12 a night. $10 a night. And how many hours would you play a night? When you say a night, would it be... Well, we play in the Palladio, uh, four, four hours. Four hours, so four... Yeah, because we dance it. Yeah. yeah. So you play an hour, take a break, play another hour, take a break. Yeah, play, yeah. Right? Or play two sets, or take a nice break, and then... And that, uh, mm -hmm. but anyway, Carl called me, and I said, what do you have for me? I said, well, I got... And he told me, I'm, I'll give you 200 a, a week, and I, we only have one day off. And later, we, I'm going to be touring all the way in the United States. And I want you to be, that's first, the first time he did a tour. And um, we went and did that tour all over the United States. And that's why we went to Berlin. And we played in Berlin. And that's why uh, Martin Cohen saw me. Mm -hmm. But the Conga, the Conga was there. Let's, to Nebo, yeah. and, um, and that's why it, if you see interview, in the, in the YouTube, Martin Cohen, they gave me an interview when I was living in, in, in Vega. They gave me an interview. He said, uh, he said that. This is the guy the, when, uh, I started making conga after I saw Luis Miranda play in the, in the Berlin in New York. Mm -hmm. He said, if you look at that, and you're going to see it. And say that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so this, you know, so you moved from like New York um, San Francisco. to San Francisco, from New York to San Francisco. Oh, and I stayed there. In San Francisco. I stayed with Carl for a year. You know, that's why we went to, 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 to the, to the uh, Los Angeles and the Santa Barbara. So you, you were with Cal Jada for four years. Oh, yeah. So you know, when you were in the band, who else was in the band? Do you remember? Uh, Manny Duran and Carlo Duran, the bass. Benny Bellardi and Timbale. Mm -hmm. And I would say, me and the conga. Wow. Yeah. Oh, later, when, when I, I decided I wanted to move to Hollywood because... In Hollywood, I want to see if I can get in to play on the background from the movie. So you want to pursue a, a studio career when a you move? Studio career when you move to uh, New unless, to unless, Los, California, uh, Los Angeles or Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And what year was that? Was that in the sixties? Uh, uh, yeah, it was almost in the sixties. In the sixties, yeah. right? Right. Now, did you record any stuff with Cal Jader? Cal Jader, yeah. yeah. Two albums. You know, do you know the names of the albums? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's an album, but you know, in those times, the, the company made the, the long play. It was not like now, they yeah. got a, a, it was a long play. Uh -huh. And uh, the, the album, the, the long play, the, it came out with a plastic red. Oh, yes, like psychedelic, right? Like really colorful vinyl. And uh, this, this, see, everybody said, wow, it came about something different. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it, it was, uh, yeah, that's when the time, oh, when I went to move. I left Kyle, I went to Hollywood, and I started, I went down to Union, mm -hmm. and I put my trumpet. And I, when I got my trumpet, 
I made the connection to, and I started working in a, in a movie. Mm-hmm. But girl, and a friend, uh, this, what's his name? Bobby Montes. He had a quintet. And he found out, he got a quintet almost like I did. And he found out I was in town. And he called me, he said, Luis, yeah, Luis. Yeah. And uh, I went to the union, they told me you were in town. Uh, where are you now? I'm in my condo here. He said, where you live? Uh, I live here in condo, uh, uh, not too far away from the union. I come out to see you. He said, oh, you be here? Okay. Mm-hmm. He came out to see me. He said, Luis, I got a job for you. If you can make it, I'll be very happy because I play multi like Kajeda style. Mm-hmm. And uh, you'll be perfect in there. And, uh, mm-hmm. and they said, I play six nights a week, three nights a week. Yeah. And um, the play was uh, the M Club in uh, East Los Angeles. The M Club in East Los the Angeles, Club. yeah. Wow. And then uh, when I told you that, he saw me. And I would be working six nights a week, mm-hmm. but I would stop. He said, okay. Wow. I did the job. And in that time, that a movie star, they was coming to see us. Because that was a, a famous thing, and the movie star heard about a group, and they came down. Oh, and I made, I made uh, Mickey Rooney and there. Uh, uh, it was a guy that was acting a Jeff Chandler, who I said, you make movies like an Indian, you know, Jeff Chandler. Jeff Chandler, Mickey Rooney. So there was a lot of stars that would come yeah. up to see you. Yeah, Eva Gardner. Wow, Eva Gardner, wow. And uh, it's another of a guy that was coming to see us. There's so many of them. Because I would tell you, the guy who they owned the end club, they had, he, got something to do with a movie. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I told the people, no, I got to go over there. Mm-hmm. And they yeah. was coming there. Yeah. Look at that wow. And that's when um, we got the chance to move it. That's great. Yeah. You know, you know, and I'm noticing too, because I have some pictures that you have here, and I noticed that uh, you have a nice picture here. I'm, I'm going to try to show it of you and Cal Jader, and this must have been... And the bear line. This oh this was in the Baragons. The Baragon. The Baragon yeah. was that now was that in San Francisco or New York? No, New York City. Oh, so that was in the Baragon. So you went back and after you moved to Los Angeles. I mean San Francisco. San Francisco. You went back to New York to we go played. play. We did a tour all over. So how did it feel like now you went back to, like you were with Cal Jada, you moved to Los uh, San Francisco because if you're from New York, this is the way it goes. The well, if you're if you're a musician in New York, they want to come to Los Angeles. They want to come to to, to San Francisco. But no, and, let, let me tell you what happened. Because when I played with my hero, we played in San Francisco. Yeah. And that's when he saw me, and he asked me, um, with a with a friend, and um, if you want to play with hand. And I, I told him, man, I live in New York. I play with the bass in New York and Latin and in jazz. I want to come, boy, I'm going to This was Cal Jader telling you that, right? Eh? Cal Jader was telling you that you moved to San Francisco. Yeah, he told yeah. me. And but I, what the, I think what, what I was trying to, the point that I was trying to make is that, because, you know, I'm a musician too, and, and uh, you know, when, when I go to different places like New York or even Europe, or, you know, <laughs> they all want to come to, to Hollywood or Los Angeles <laughs> or New York. If you're in New York, some of these musicians want to come to Los Angeles ex- and to to experiment, you know, a different environment, a different musician, different kind of styles. Because New York, that you got some incredible, incredible yeah. musicians, legacy, you know, unbelievable talent in New York, and they don't, you know, it's just either you play or you don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> But there's a lot of talent oh, no, in New York, but, but everybody want to come to Los Angeles. Anybody yeah. from Los Angeles wants to go to New York. But, let me but you, you got a taste of both worlds back then. 
you went to San Francisco from New York, and then you got to go back to Baragon and play with Cal Jader. Mm -hmm. How did that feel? I mean, this it was it, exciting and it, no, it, it, it was a good feeling. Yeah, to good go feeling. Back and you were making went, a little I bit get, more money, right? Yeah, well, I was making good money. Yeah, traveling with him, and I was making good money in town in San Francisco. Yeah, so you were okay. No matter where he go, I go. Yeah, yeah. And I, we went to all the way Texas. A lot of places. A, a place a, 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 a Poland, Did you ever go, go to Europe with with Cal G? No, 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 no Europe. Poland, Oregon. No Japan. No. 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 When I left Cal G, and um, and the guy Luis Cante played with him, and later Poncho Sanchez took the job with this mm -hmm. guy, and he he went to a car and play in the Philippines. Okay, yeah. And I got, that's it. Cajera. He died. Uh, died. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I just, uh, uh, Poncho, you know, he's he's a good friend of mine. And I just saw him a couple hours ago before we got here, you know. Um, Are you uh, sure, Poncho? Yeah, just Are a you couple telling you was coming to see me? No, because uh, we, it was too many musicians. You know, Ram, uh, Ramon Banda passed mm -hmm. away. Yeah. And the services were today. So there were so many mu great musicians oh. there. Paying tribute to uh, you know to Ramon and and I saw Poncho, but I'm, I if I see him again because they're gonna after I do this interview with you, they're gonna have a they're having a jam session you know, uh, so I'll, if he's there I'll tell him that you said hello you know, I talk Poncho you said yeah hi. tell hello to him for mm -hmm. me and you but, tell him that you give me an interview yeah and yeah and we, 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 we are good friends oh yeah he's, yeah he's, 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 he's a good player yeah, he's been around he's yeah. a good guy. Great, great, made a great career out of his, you know, doing what he loves to do, playing yeah. Latin jazz and and tri tribute to Mongo Santa Maria. But he, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show a picture here on on the, that that you showed me. This is a picture that when you talking about when you went to Baragon Bella. back in New York, when you just joined Cal, when you, when you joined Cal Jader, and you were living in San Francisco, and then you went back to tour mm -hmm. in New York. Now who's playing bass here? And um, Manny, I'm going uh, to shoot, put this here, so. Manny, Manny Duran play the piano. He, his brother, Carlo Duran, play the bass. Mm -hmm. That's a, the band. Yeah. So I'm holding the picture as it is. That's why it shows a little glare and stuff like that, because it's, it's laminated. Uh, look at my, oh, here in the back, on the picture. This one. Okay, I got to turn, he wants me to turn it to the back. Oh wow! So it's got some uh, some uh, writing here. Let me see. Okay. Oh, it says the artist Count Basie, uh, Pasadena, 1955. Luis Miranda, Carlos Duran, Manuel Duran, Benny Velarde. That's the Cal Jada, right? Yeah. The artist also was Count Basie. Mm -hmm. Modern jazz. Uh, and the four uh, freshmen, Sarah uh, Vaughn, Miles Davis, uh, too. My God. I, I want to tell you something. What happened. Cal Jader Quintet. Unbelievable. This is 1955 now. Yeah. But you see, let me tell you about what happened in there. You know, in, um, in Pasadena, we went and did a show. And uh, before they uh, play, the four freshmen sing. And then... Um, uh, modern jazz quartet scene play, you know, mm -hmm. and um, uh, uh, my, my trumpet play, Mark Davis. Miles Davis, yeah, yeah. I and heard I, of him. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. Mark Davis uh -huh. play, play the, the trumpet, and then people were there, and they were more for friends, the four friends play. And the other will play. And later, when they say, Now, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. the Kaja is acquainted. And <sighs> the house went down. Well, they went crazy, huh? They went the crazy because, went crazy. you see, the DA, they were playing for college people. And they play.